welcome to officially the first kinematics episode okay now we are going to consider the simplest situation of kinematics i call this situation as bob at rest and here is bob that's it and what we are going to do is we're going to try and graph this guy and we're going to try and get an equation for this guy now i know this is not one of the most fun or the interesting things in kinematics to do but baby steps so we're going to start simple and we're going to start building up from there all right now before we can start this what we will do is we'll draw that guy we'll make a drawing i want you guys to do all this all the time whenever you see something in physics any situation first check if you can draw something all right so this is a decent drawing of what bob looks like and the next thing we need is an axis that's right so something like this now, the reason we need an axis is because we need to keep track of its location location or in other words it's called as position okay so to do that we're going to use an axis i'm going to call it as x axis and these markings are done in meters okay the zero can be put anywhere you want you can you can put the zero here it's called as the origin by the way you can put the zero here you can put it over here you can put it here wherever you want you can put it so let's say i'm going to just put it over here this way this is going to be my x-axis and you're also free to choose which direction you want to be positive example in this case the right side is positive these numbers are positive and these numbers are negative on the other hand you can also choose the left direction to be positive. It's completely your choice. But you know what? I'm going to be nice to you. And I'm just going to choose the right side as positive. I don't want complications on the first episode. I don't want to drive you guys away. So let me make a drawing of that quickly. So the axis is like this. And here was 5. This is 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, oops. 1, 0, 6, 7, etc. Okay. And this is my x-axis in meters. All right, we are now set to build equations. Okay, so what we'll do is all the time we'll ask Bob, hey Bob, where are you? And Bob says, well, I'm at x equal to plus five meters. Okay, so right now, Bob is at x equal to plus five meters. Ta-da! That's it. That's the equation of Bob at rest. You may say that equation, that is that an equation? Yeah. Well, yes, that is an equation. It's one of the simplest equations. Our first equation, by the way, congratulations uh, in kinematics. And this simple equation is just telling that Bob is at rest at five meters. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this five meters is the answer because I chose my origin over here. But what if I shifted my origin? Maybe, let's say, I chose my origin here, then Bob would be at 2 meters. Just think about it. Bob has not moved. It's my axis that is moving, okay? So nothing physical has moved, yet the number might change. So the number depends on the origin. I could choose my origin over here, and now the Bob's position would be minus 2 meters, okay? So we need to write this equation in general. What is the general equation for this? I'm just going to write it over here. This number depends, it depends on the origin. Okay? So, what is the general equation? That's what we want to do in physics. We want to write things in general. In general, I could say, position of the bob, x, represents the position, is some number. Okay? And we'll call it as x naught. And here is... Your first official equation of kinematics this equation tells you Bob is at rest look at that such a simple equation I and mean, look at the equation and look at the sentence the sentence it takes such a long time to write but the equation just three things you see that's why we love equations okay x equal to x naught excellent the next thing I want to do is graph this guy remember kinematics is about graphing and it's about equations now if you have never graphed something before don't worry I'm going to give you an intuitive approach I'm going to give you an intuitive approach towards graph so we'll first do it here intuitively and then we're gonna redraw our graph over there okay so what exactly is graphing well in simple terms graphing is basically 
taking snapshots of Bob's position. What I'm going to do over here is take snapshots of Bob's position and, and, and look at it at different moments in time. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take a clock. I, I want you guys to just imagine a clock somewhere. Maybe there's a clock over here somewhere. Imagine there's a clock. Okay. And this is like a stop clock. You'll have zero, one, two, just keep on going. And you're free to start whenever you want. And whenever you start this clock, we're going to call that time as t equal to zero. All right. That's just the way we like to define our t equal to zero. So t equal to zero represents the start of your clock. Okay. Now, I'm going to start my clock. So right now, t equals zero. And at t equals zero, where is Bob? Well, Bob is over here at five meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of this, just take a snapshot, and I'm going to draw it over here. So let me draw that over here. Okay. So here is um, Bob's position, somewhere like this. I'm going to draw that. I'm going to draw it along the vertical now. You will see soon why. And let me draw the markings. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put um, zero here. There's one, there's two, there's three, four, five, six, and so on. And remember, our Bob is over here. It's, it's at five, all right? It's at five. And I'm gonna call this as t equal to zero. This is at time t equal to zero, okay? Now, let the clock tick for, let's say, two seconds, all right? And then let's freeze the universe again. So right now, the clock is t equal to two seconds. And we're gonna look at Bob again and see what does Bob look like? Hmm, Bob, where are you? Well, Bob says, I'm still at five meters. The snapshot is going to look identical. So what we'll do is we'll redraw this over here. It's gonna take us some time, but that's okay. You'll get an intuitive idea of what graphing is. So I'm gonna redraw this over here. Okay, so here it is. And he's still at five meters. He's not changed his position one bit. And this is at t equal to t equal to two seconds. We'll allow the clock to tick again. We'll wait for, let's say, another two seconds. That means at t equal to four seconds, we'll redraw the situation. And it doesn't take a genius to realize that since Bob is at rest, the situation looks exactly identical. So if I redraw this, and I'm not gonna draw it again, all right? So you pretty much should get it by now, all right? So it's gonna still look the same, and this is t equal to three seconds. Ta-da! We have drawn our first graph intuitively. So what we have done, just try to see what we have done. We have taken the horizontal axis, and we have called that as our time. This is the time axis, okay? So we plot time over here. And remember, Bob, Bob is moving, Bob is allowed to move, he's not moving in this situation, but he's allowed to move here. So this vertical represents the one-dimensional world of Bob. So we have taken the vertical as x. This is in meters and this is in seconds, okay? So this graph is what we call as xt graph. This is the position time graph and now you saw in order for me to draw it this way, it takes such a long time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this in a nice manner, sort of like a shortcut, which represents the same situation. This is the same information, but it is done a little bit more efficiently, okay? So the way we're gonna draw it is gonna do the same thing. We're gonna first draw our x-axis. This is the one-dimensional world that the Bob is living in. We're gonna draw that along the vertical. And here is our time axis okay and the time axis is along the horizontal now let's begin where is Bob at time t equal to zero we, ju we just saw that at time t equal to zero he's at five so we're not going to draw uh, the entire thing again we're just going to put a dot over here where is that t equal to two seconds well he's at that point so you see I'm not going to draw the one-dimensional world again it's understood it's, it's there Okay, so it's the same snapshot we're going to put over here. We draw it once and we're going to take snapshots over here. At t equal to 4 seconds, well, it's going to be here. t equal to 6 seconds is going to be here. It's going to be here. It's going to remain, in fact, at all moments in time, it's going to remain at the same location. Can you see what the graph looks like? 
The graph looks like a straight line. Bingo! That's our graph. This graph represents the same situation. It's saying that Bob is at rest. So congratulations, we have drawn our first kinematic graph. So we have equations, we have graphs, and they both represent the same thing. So in kinematics, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you graphs sometimes. I'm going to ask you to build the equation. Sometimes I'll give you the equation. I'm going to ask you to build the graph. Sometimes I'll give you some situation and you'll have to do both. We're going to do a lot of fun things, but this is basically Bob at rest. Okay, so you may not be too excited. I can see that because you know kinematics are supposed to be things in motion and nothing is moving over here, but patience grasshopper. This was just the basics. In the next episode, we will start speeding things up. <laughs> see what I did there? So anyways, stay tuned.